that opportunity to take the vaccine. So I don't know how, you know, what's going on in those other states. We're saying that we make it available to first responders, to our public health care workers, and give them that option since they're going to be the ones on the front line when we open up these. So they're not being clinics. pressured. They're not being pressured in Dallas County to no, take it then. No, I'm not. I'm not aware of anybody being pressured uh, in Dallas County. We're not. We make it available for public health workers and first responders, basically because they will be on the front lines of responding to the setup and administering doing a yes, vaccination. Sir. When did you? When did Dallas County start giving the nasal vaccine? About two weeks ago, we received 700 doses of the nasal spray uh, vaccine about two weeks ago. Have you read the mainstream media reports that it's actually a live attenuated virus and that it can actually mutate or spread the H1N1 itself? Right. We're, we're, everyone is aware of that, yes. I think the key is, if you read the CDC um, guidelines, is that only healthy people can take the nasal spray. So if you, you really got to make sure that the nasal spray was made available to healthy individuals in Dallas County. And then the injectable, which came in almost a week or a week and a half later, that's made available to the general public. Sir, what are the public schools doing? Because we see different headlines in the state of Texas and outside the state where their county health departments and city health departments are adding it to the list of mandatory vaccines for school children, the regular seasonal and the H1N1. And then I have parents, and that's why we appreciate you coming on because you are an authority on this, an expert, because uh, you, you're you're there over a large county and, and actually know what the facts are. What is the real policy in the public schools? Well, I'm not aware of a policy in the Texas uh, school district that requires uh, anyone to take the flu shot or the H1N1 uh, vaccine. The recommendations are on vaccinations, the normal vaccines that are required for school, which are uh, the basic varicella, uh, tetanus, uh, MMR. I've not heard, uh, I've not read anywhere what anyone has been mandated in the Texas school district, but I can't speak for all Texas schools sure. in Dallas County. That's sure. not been a requirement, so I don't know where that information may have come from. There is quite a confusion because of the back-to-school immunizations, and a lot of parents didn't get their kids in before the September 1 deadline. That The state issued a one-month extension until October 1st for individuals to get their, get their, get their families in, get their children in, to get their immunizations updated. And, and is the regular the, seasonal flu on that list? No, it's not on, it's not on the list. Is Gardasil still on the list? Well, no, I'm not, I'm not aware of Garda still being on that list, no. Well, not you remember enough. Rick Perry last year saying girls had to take it, and he was instructing the health departments to implement that? Yeah, but it's not on a requirement for back to school, no. Okay. Um, again, we're talking to the Department of Health and Human Services Office of Public Information, Dallas County Director Zachary Thompson. Uh, sir, I saw... A story out in the Statesman a few weeks ago, and I've seen him in Oregon. I've seen him in New York State as well. Perhaps you can enlighten us on this subject. And that deals with fact sheets being given out to the parents of children, to the children in the independent school districts around the country, explaining the basics uh, about the vaccine and clearing up some of the misunderstandings. Is uh, Dallas County uh, issuing any type of fact sheets like that? Well, I think anyone that takes the vaccine or come in to get their children administered the vaccine has to review that information and make a decision whether or not they want their children to receive the vaccine. And that's, are that's they signing the forms? Are, 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 are people signing waiver forms when they take the H1N1? Well, I think you you sign a form after acknowledging that you've been given education about it and that you're willing to have your child immunized. It's your choice whether or not you want your kids to be vaccinated. I understand. Right, right. Well, I, I want to give you the last word in a moment, but I did want to bring this up to you because I'm sure you're a very nice, intelligent, informed person who genuinely cares about the community. Our issue is we've seen copies of what's being given out in Travis County here in Austin. We've seen copies of it in Oregon and uh, the New York Times has a public school program uh, in New York State, but also in other states, that states there is no mercury in the shots, that states there is no connection to Guillain-Barre syndrome or other neurological disorders within six weeks of receiving it. But I happen to have the actual inserts, not the fact sheets, but the inserts, 
and the FDA.gov Norvitis Vaccine Diagnostics Limited uh, report that is that actually comes to the medical workers and doctors with it. And it states that this is an experimental uh, vaccine that has a lot of side effects. A, were you aware of that? And B, is the information you're giving to parents of school children when they come in to get the shots, does the information in Dallas County have that information in it? I believe it does. We just got the vaccine in. We have not administered it to any kids, but I'll take a look at it and uh, and, and be more informed about whether or not that that is the case. I think I want to clear up one thing, is that the option is there, um, whether or not a parent wants their kid to take the vaccine. Clearly, there is due diligence in terms of that. So it's not mandatory. It is optional. Uh, so the, the issues that you bring up are one that all parents should consider regarding whether or not they want their child uh, to take the vaccine. Do you have children, first. Mr. Thompson? Yes, I do. Are you vaccinating your children? Well, uh, my child happens to be uh, 25, so, I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, he, he can make that decision himself. But, okay, have you taken the flu shot? The seasonal flu, yes. Because it's been in the news that the German government for its military and higher-ups is, is, is giving an additive free vaccine to government officials, and I wanted to just, because, again, you reach tens of thousands, well, potentially millions of people, what is it, six, seven million people in Dallas County, sir? No, no, about 2.3 million in Dallas County. Uh, Harris County has about 3 million plus, yeah. Okay, so I'm just thinking of all the suburbs. Total in the Metroplex is no, 7 Dallas million. County, no, Dallas County, uh, yeah, 2.3 million. Okay, so you reached all these millions of people. I wanted to read to you a Toronto Star and Mail Online headline. Normal flu jab doubles the risk of catching swine bug. The findings from Canada led to some states in the country delaying seasonal flu jab campaigns amid fears the recipients could be more vulnerable to a second surge of the pandemic. Were you made aware of this? No, no, I'm not. I'll be glad to take a look at that. Yeah, have your uh, producer send me that information. Be glad to look at it. Sure. In fact, if people want to contact the Dallas County Health Department uh, or, or send you email, sir, what's the best general email to do that? Well, they can go to our website at uh, dallascounty.org and uh, click on uh, Dallas um, Dallas County Health and Human Service, and it has our email address on there, and they can uh, contact me. It has my email address on there and contact me directly. Okay. All right. Well, I know you've got it. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for spending time with us. Okay. Thank you. All right, there he goes, ladies and gentlemen. Good job to the producers getting him on. I was going to get into next quarantine training because under executive order 13375, let me give that to you again. Don't believe a word I say. Go look at the executive order for yourself. You can go to the whitehouse.gov, type in executive order 13375 and read it for yourself. And it talks about Locking down cities, forced inoculations, massive fines and prison time if you refuse the shots. Now, Obama, with his declaration of a national emergency under this executive order, has implemented these powers. That does not, repeat, does not mean they're going to carry them out. But they have loaded the firearm they have pulled the slide back. They have loaded around into the chamber. They've taken the safety off, and they have this unconstitutional weapon at our head. Oh, they can claim they have an executive orders. They can claim the U.N. has passed laws uh, under Level 6 that the president has signed executive orders that follow it. The president's following the orders of the U.N. But the Congress could pass laws today saying we all have to go dig ditches for the government. By the way, they have executive orders that say that. It doesn't mean you have to follow those orders. It is criminal. It is abhorrent to everything free in this nation. So that is some of what's coming up today. But I do want to point out to listeners that the reason I had the Dallas County Health Department head on, one of the most populous counties, I guess he's not counting Dallas inside of the county. So I guess it's two and a half million or 2.3, whatever he said, in the county that's outside the city. But But my point is, that health department in that county is over 6 million people, at least last time I read the newspaper. Uh, the issue here is that I wanted to have a health department head on, and if we can get them on, we'll have more on. Maybe we can get the San Francisco health department head on. Maybe we can get the Houston health department head on. Maybe the New York health department head on. So you can hear from them that you don't have to take the shot. 
So you can hear from them that they know it's got dangerous side effects. So you can hear from them uh, that you need to sign a form when you do take the shot or your children take it that you're fully aware of what's in it. Because most mainstream media lies and says there is no mercury. It cannot cause neurological disorders, brain disorders. It cannot kill you. It cannot sterilize you. It does not have any type of additives in it. It's wonderful. It's good. There's nothing wrong. And that's in the fact sheets we've seen from all over the nation. And I'd like to see what's in that Dallas fact sheet. Dallas the city or Dallas the county. Because I got a sneaking suspicion it doesn't say that. But maybe Dallas County is different than other counties around the nation of the thousands and thousands of counties that are in this country. There are hundreds, I forget how many, a hundred and something. Maybe I should search engine the term, how many counties in Texas?